Hello and welcome back to DSX and when we last left off we fought our way through the research facilities of Versa Life and unfortunately we came up empty handed when it comes to the universal constructor because the key part was we are short to multi tools and no one around here seems to have the key combination for that thing even the uh, head researcher incidentally because we knocked her out already but regardless let's just see uh, what we can find up here on the second level behind the yeah there is some working right okay um Maybe we can knock them out. Depends on who it is, frankly. Yeah, very fancy corridors around here. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. It's one of those agent types. But I guess here goes nothing. <laughs> oh. Really, we can knock them out. I was completely unaware of that. I thought they were in invincible to this. But also, we learned a new uh, trick here after all. It would appear. Really? It's not a way to bomb Paige's office, is it? Oh, what? What is that, a lounge? Apparently so. And there's the shift supervisor still. Really? Oh, come on now. Uh, anything of interest back here, at least? We already have multiples of those, I think. And the key combination. The MP grenade, fantastic. And then we have the data cube. Okay, but this is useless to us because we already have the password for the head of researchers uh, credentials, you know, the root access. Ugh, really? Come on now. Well, we can uh, get down there once again to check out the terminal, but otherwise I'm getting really discouraged because we have the key code to shut down the universal constructor, but no way to get here. And this thing would do exactly the same as the other terminals in the rest of the building, I think. Okay, then at least we didn't injure ourselves because these uh, duple up, of course. I mean, there's nothing remaining here, right? Nothing. No. <laughs> what in the actual heck is going on in this building? Oh, okay then. Oh, at least it should be the last dude in the entirety of the complex for now. These are the underground portions. So it's a start. Open sesame, please. Come on now. Okay, so this was uh, completely useless then. What else is in the area? I mean, I'm getting... A little bit discouraged here, frankly. <laughs> but also, more than just a little bit confused as well. Okay, um, I guess we know where the head of researcher is uh, taking a dirt nap. But I'm sure I already checked for every single area back here. I'm pretty certain. That's the key code for the emergency override, which you cannot use. Yeah, that's her, right? There's a body, but nothing on it. And the same goes for the rest of the researchers, incidentally. Yeah, all of them here. Ah, but even the lab assistant. There's Dr. Vargas and there is uh, Trelane. Okay, that Trelane by chance. And we also can't open all these things here to read these. Ah, you know what I mean. It's useless, frankly. Oh. Uh, what is that up here? Did I see correctly? Ah, I think it's a ballistic vest. We're looking for one of those, incidentally. Ah. Uh. Well. Getting to it seems to be difficult for whatever stupid reason. We can have the crouch uh, jump very easily in this game. Okay, the point. But we can get it regardless, so that's a relief. Because the other one was shot to pieces, of course. Okay, fantastic. And otherwise, we have a damage upgrade for. What exactly? Doesn't say what the increase would be. I have come to like the shotgun, incidentally, so we put it in here for now. Okay, and otherwise, yeah, some cigarettes and some soda. Nothing else of use. <laughs> okay, one more try. If it doesn't work, then we have to get out of the building and hope uh, to do this assignment later. Do not ask the scientists questions. Yeah, very, very busy. Incidentally, do you have a key or anything in between? Let's just find out for good here. No, he has nothing on him. Of course he doesn't. But what else, we do? And yeah, by the way, the plasma rifle is about as large as the uh, rocket launcher. And the ammo is just as scarce. So I didn't cut it around or decided not to. So what guess I guess. And we uh, never found the key combination for that door either. Incident he didn't we? Um. Okay, I, I guess this can work. I don't, it sounds painful. Bashing your head against this metal ceiling here. 
<lacht> Weit, dann Foto Odum, please. Please, I said, yes, thank you very much. Okay, so if you want to do plenty of stealthing, you can do exactly that. If you are a better stealth character than our JC is, of course. Yeah, alright, so, um, no new errors are accessible from this side, but the crate maybe, and the door most importantly. That could work, and we're looking at a rate of fire upgrade, aha. Uh -huh. Rate of fire on the shotgun, but it only has a four magazine, yeah, uh, capacity. I think it's a tubular magazine, maybe. Okay, otherwise, uh, BD, rate of fire on the rocket launcher. But it's a single shot rocket launcher, so I'm not quite sure what this would achieve for us. Okay, the pistol is plenty fast firing already, so I think that's fine. Alright, so open sesame. BD, <laughs> why? And how? I don't understand that. Uh, what? What's the point of that then? Just the upgrade? What could be? I'm sure that the universal constructor is behind that keypad somewhere, but apparently there's no way to get to it because someone has the key combination. Then again, usually these missions aren't self contained, so there's no guarantee that the keypad will even be accessible during our first visit. So the guarantee, right? Can we <laughs> get down there? Finally, thank you. Okay. Ja, yeah, Bob Page ist still hier, but it's not talkative. Well, then I guess we're not supposed to get back here, I think. Probably. Ja, yeah, this is right to pieces, of course. Ja, um, yeah, we need to get to here, right? So it's all open, and we have no key combination, and we're short to multi-tours. Ja, yeah, we have two, I remember that. And there's uh, no way to get those, because they're in super short supply. Okay. Well, the problem is that he has root access, so he should have access to all of this essentially, right? Yeah, we already read all these emails, of course. So what about Maggie Shaw then? And of course, they only gave us, um, yeah, her credentials, but not the password. I mean, the two of them, I think. Don't we? Because, as you can see, it doesn't accept any input without the password. <laughs> well, it should be the same, I'm hoping. Indeed it is, so... Okay, so same functions, as far as I can tell. Pretty certain we are being manipulated still. Because this correspondence with, uh, well, Vorton Simmons, of course, and also Max Shen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once again, how do we get back here without two additional multi tools? That's not going to happen. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm getting desperate here. <laughs> Sorry, lady. We found the body, but nothing on it, of course. Well, unsurprisingly, I'm bad at. <laughs> Certainly the bump doesn't have the key card. Wouldn't you think? I guess. <laughs> Would be really strange, but we found nothing. Of course we didn't find anything. Unsurprisingly. Well, I'm sorry, Pao. It's all of me, but still. I'm getting desperate back here. Yeah, Bob Page. We cannot ask him, of course. Oh, but he done so apparently our JC is too um, <laughs> inept to make this happen. I guess we'll guess, I suppose. So, I would assume we have to clear out the rest of the compound now, because it's level 3 in the Wasser Life building. And most assuredly, we have broken the uh, rules they laid out for us by bothering the scientists, or indeed not bothering the scientists. Would you think? Probably. Okay, so then we keep the tranquilizer uh, darts at the ready here. Then we also switch out for, yeah, probably rubber slugs. We have a couple of them, just in case. Well, maybe that would be more useful. They're completely unproven, though. Yeah, it's not here. It's not in the lounge. It's not behind that fancy statue. So I guess, I guess. Maybe find it later. That's the key combination, but I wouldn't be too hopeful. <laughs> I would um, expect some resistance here now. Um, apparently the camera is inactive. Okay, there is a green dude. Okay, unsurprisingly, one security guard is angry, as is the receptionist, and she's returning fire with a pistol. Okay, good here. Anyone else want a piece of the action? Well, there will path up here, presumably. Oh no, there is someone back here. Okay, so... 
Okay, I saw the bounced off, right? Ja, das war die. Okay, warum ist der Freund als Ruhm? Okay, so also preisen die Abby von Kommst zu Hause aus. <lacht> okay, dann please find die voll over, so. Oh, diese Text geht auf die Security Guards, I would suppose. Okay, so Rappers sind langsam nur super useful, alle für den Son of Shotgun anzupreisen, die. Oh, sie wird hier so expected hier friendly. Oh, das war's. Wie die? Now you've set that false lady wide. Okay, Rapperslags, alles in die vor. Und dann will ich auf die Physics Effect. Didn't find anything, of course. Warum sind wir all unconscious? Except for this guy who doesn't care for whatever reason. Uh, right, enjoy the show, dear worker. Impel grenade and some cigarettes, which I don't really need, of course. Yeah, some six and ten with the ammo. Okay, someone else angry now? <laughs> okay, I will be nervous as well, friend. I was down in the labs. Do you know what they're doing? Something with genetics and nanotech. That's all I know. Oh, it's better that way. Take Trust me. Get out of here. I can't tell you any more than that. Yeah, better get moving, Mr. Smith. And the supervisor was also angry. This corrupt guy. Okay, credits, but no credentials. That's the difference here. Okay, uh, interesting. Conscious. Wow, at least these people wow. To be honest, they are, uh, they are innocent, right? They have nothing to do with the uh, horrors downstairs there, I would think. Probably not. Okay, well, it's interesting, but we took some damage here unnecessarily, I'm bad But I think the robot downstairs is completely empty, so we have to recharge at uh, Tracer's uh, players, I think. Alright, I think except for the one guy, everyone is now asleep and the cameras are deactivated. Must be courtesy of Daedalus, I think. But he specifically told us to look for this universal constructor. And we have failed him. And this last uh, sentence in the email was, don't fail me. <laughs> you know, so I guess I guess. Certainly not a sense of accomplishment I was looking for. I think it's too far away, right? I would figure. Okay, we have the same idea, I see. <laughs> Even for me, it's poison damage. Okay, it takes about 10 seconds almost, doesn't it? Okay, the last card in the room. And we are also down to our last... Uh, oh, it's actually a magazine. That's good, I see. Even though it's only free here. Sorry to spook it there, sir. You work at Cyanics? Wow. You look like you could have the gift. I don't think we have any gifts in particular, sir. The way we operate. Well, at least our hands are clean when it comes to this portion of the personal life building. That's something. I mean, I didn't uh, make them come over here. No, all of them charging us all at once. Apparently, we aren't done yet, anyway. I mean, there's no ventilation shaft or anything in between, so we have to knock them out in one way or another. Oh, <laughs> really? It's the train code, isn't it? Just double checking. Indeed, it is. What happened there? I'm not sure. Oh, go to sleep. Creep as Buns would say. Ja, 
Ja. I think there should be an evacuation order on this computer, maybe. I suppose we try it out. Oh, you can say many things about our JC, but you cannot blame him uh, for an action, right? Probably not. There must be the worker we spooked, and there's also a security a checkpoint downstairs here somewhere. Is this criminal preceptor patent proposal is kicking my ass. Mm -hmm, whatever. I'm not quite sure what you said there. It's all supposed to be. But we understand what the soda does in this game. And drop these stupid cigarettes, please. You know the smoker, are we do? Do we have two multitudes by chance? I mean, as so the guarantee we can actually come back here. That's also a thing, you know. Yeah, two health points. We take an eternity to get us received with consumables. Okay, free security terminals. Well, it's the wrong type of pick, isn't it? Ja, yeah, so I was recognized unsurprisingly. Ja, yeah, remember these snippets we read at Tavos security back in Mankind Divided. I think they have the same policy. At least on company grounds. No talking, right? For the most part. Especially no small talk. Ja, yeah, I think somebody activated this stuff already, for whatever reason, I'm not quite sure why and how, but it happened, I would figure. Ja, yeah, no alert panel under the table here someplace, you would think it would be here. But you just have one right on the <laughs> desk here, I guess it does serve the same purpose, even though it's pretty obvious. Okay, what was it again? I think it was uh, all shifts or whatever, right? Nope, apparently it's not the one. Then I'm not sure what this is good for. Yeah, no idea, but you can maybe hack it. Since we are right in here, right? Then, no, could I make it happen? That's what I thought. Well, oh, goody then. Oh, goody indeed. Yeah, <laughs> I think it fell down from the other area, right? Because of the physics effects. I think I like it. Okay, who's blasting now? Someone else angry? Ja, das ist ja Summer Bake hier weit. Wo wird Start Blasting with all the civilians in the area hier? I'm not sure. I don't think these guys have the proper training for the job, I would figure. And I'm speaking to you, lady or pal. Probably a mayor security guard still. I don't think the workers can um, smuggle in a pistol, right? Would you think? <laughs> oh, it was you, wasn't it? What's up with the female characters in this game? Obviously putting a gun on me. Really now? Yeah, really? And the chains move all at the same time. Oh. I guess we can also make that happen. Hmm. If you don't want to um, bribe the guy, I guess. The supervisor. There you go. Interesting. I don't think it will open the keypad because it's a uh, six-digit code, I believe. Isn't it? Or something like that. I don't think this would work down there at the most important security panel. That would be really strange if it does. Okay, emails and the weekly memo here again. Okay, that was funny. Busy. Ja, weil ich denke, die Baby unavailable right now. For no particular reason, of course. Ja, das bounced from the top floor, I believe. Somehow. That's funny. 
Okay, so I have to knock her out and then you can access your computer. Now if you can find two additional multi tools somewhere, I will certainly come back here to shut down the universal construct if it's impossible. It may not be. Yeah, and uh, ambushes along the way is also pretty likely, wouldn't you think? Well, we have some objectives, don't we? Let's just review them before we continue. <laughs> I don't trust her in the slightest, by the way. Um, don't mind the shooting, it's the police officers that don't care, but if you break into the checkpoint, that's probably going to change. Peggy, huh? Such a quaint little market. Um, quaint, we really? need. Look around. Now we're doing exactly that here. Also I'm trying to avoid some robots. Oh, there's somebody here, right, of course. <laughs> I don't think that's going to end very well, but I suppose since we have the combination for that supposedly. Somewhere. Eight seven three four two. Eight seven three four two. No, really? <laughs> so I tell me the safest in here someplace, and it's how we access in this area. Probably just keep it right over here somewhere, really? Well, it would make sense they have a different Perhaps combinations for both for the keypads, open? front and back. But I'm not too comfortable about the presence of all these police forces and also the robot, most importantly. I guess, um... Yeah, there's a free digit code, so it cannot be the one, really. I mean, there aren't many options if it's a free digit code, but still. There must be another way to do this. Oh, never mind the presence of this police sergeant, of course. I would suppose that any of these officers uh, probably should know the code. Infinite damage threshold and the same goes for the door. <laughs> but I don't trust Maggie Shaw incidentally. Two lockpicks, huh? To what exactly? Oh, one crate of some... Three crates of some type. Uh, but I guess you could spend that. Maybe find one multi tool in there. Maybe. I wouldn't bet my life on the door. Fantastic. Well, I guess uh, uh, we get one back then, which is better enough, it, but still. That was a complete waste of our time, incidentally. So we're short one lockpick now. Fantastic indeed. Okay, so, um, I guess you cannot just drop down from the ceiling. It would be too easy. Are these robots uh, scalable? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, maybe they are. If we find something scalable in here somewhere. Something we can actually move, like the stretch can. Just thin aluminum, isn't it? Well, not like this, JC. You have to try harder than this. Yeah, we can get up here no problem and the officer doesn't bind. Well, of course, there's a keypad up here with a lot panel, but else would be the case. And yeah, we can go down here. And that's what I thought. Our presence is super suspicious, but then again, if they don't care, I don't care either. I would suppose we have to knock out the sergeant, uh, but this antagonizes the rest of the police force. Well, it would supposedly, if someone can see him. And this opens the door to the outside, right? And where's that um, safe that we're talking about? Back here somewhere? Hopefully, no one noticed that.
It didn't use a fire arm, so the acoustic sensors that didn't trigger, I think. Yeah, right. Well, could have gone better, maybe, but of course, our face was seen now. <laughs> it's this idea, but I can sneak up on him because, well, he can get to the other side, of course, but this is a restricted area, unsurprisingly. Hello, there. Well, you wouldn't care anyhow, wouldn't you? Ordnance Word, I like the sound of that. No, you don't. Thank you. Now you can close, please. Thank you very much. Okay, the boss then. Uh, wow, unknown rank apparently. So drive for unsurprisingly. Taser darts. Well, I guess there's been some time since we found some of them. At least they are less than D4, supposedly. Upper slugs, same goes for that. Yes, of course, that would be us specifically. Who else would that be? Sure, there's nothing interesting to read up there. Do I see whatever you're saying? That must be the combination, right? I think. Okay, well, we have it. I think I've also wrote it down on my piece of paper. And here it is. Are we expecting to find. Oh, interrogation, maybe? Enhanced interrogation. Yeah, enhanced interrogation, I see. Probably. Hmm. Well, I don't trust the police and I also don't trust Maggie Shaw. So. Flamethrower? Talking about excessive force there, sir. How can you justify this as a ride control type of device? The answers you cannot probably. I'm so tempted to just drop that stupid sword, frankly. I mean, the arm. Yeah, have some cigarettes. I'll happily trade those for a gas grenade. The evidence was in here somewhere, supposedly. Yeah, wasn't it? I really thought it was. Find evidence in the police station. We are inside the police station, of course. We did read some snippets, but it uh, was just about uh, yeah, general observations. Nothing of this here seems conclusive, frankly. Nothing, so... So I suppose we're not looking hard enough. Well, this is more to our liking, I would figure. Yeah, right. We already figured it out, sort of, didn't we? <laughs> I guess they're supposed to come in here first, I guess. Maybe? Yeah, but we have no evidence, really. Other than our arrival, of course. This one doesn't really relate directly to the, the trials, I believe. 
But I just don't see the conclusive evidence uh, she was looking for. That's the thing, though. It doesn't settle any disputes, I would figure. <laughs> uh, the exact opposite, right? As a matter of fact. I think we kinda lost ours, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the only keypad that doesn't seem to be interesting enough uh, to read here. And what do you have on your computer? If you can do anything about that. Oh, we can actually hack in here. Well, it seems like a security terminal and not something that will give us some interesting emails to read. Yeah, that it is. He's helping us out, I see. I guess it does make our job a little bit easier now. Okay, we take one more look and if you cannot find it, but I'm not trusting Maggie Chow anyhow, to be honest. Seems more like a double agent, but in both the three factions, if not more than that. Okay, this is right outside here for the most part. Too bad. Hmm. Yeah, why did then? I'm not quite sure. I guess it wouldn't hurt to look for her apartment now, the penthouse. It's a relatively short walk by comparison. Apparently she's not at home right now. Maybe we find some evidence. Maybe also the key combination. Ado, she's not the head researcher, right? Oh, uh, we're still good with these people, thankfully. <laughs> A oh, pretty fancy apartment there, lady. This must be the elevator, maybe. Yeah, this is the elevator, indeed. But it certainly is a penthouse. That was a bad idea, presumably. I'm sorry. Oh. Miss Chow is not at home. Yeah, well, tell her I know she double crossed the red arrow and I intend to prove it. You are mistaken, Miss Chow. She should never have sent me to the police station. Now I know she's hiding something, and I intend to find out what it is. Yeah, this over no. here, of course. No, you are mistaken. Guards. Oh, good here. Yeah. Is everyone armed around here? Apparently, every lady is packing heat in this universe. Yeah, let's do some guards back here someplace. I'm sure, right? Okay, let's just give some room and see what we can do. Apparently, we did find the evidence we were looking for, even though I was unable to piece together the puzzle pieces. So why was she sending us here then? Because it's only incriminating her, right? And what else? It's really odd, frankly. Yeah, okay, med kit, I think it's a start. Jesus Christ, even, <laughs> even the housemaid is packing heat in this universe. Alright, apparently we took care of all the majestic dudes around here, which is a good idea. Certainly pretty uh, fancy penthouse. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Then again, she's a pretty uh, popular figure here in Hong Kong. Always interested in uh, maintaining her public face.
Why would she need a lap of last in her apartment? Especially in the bathroom. One of many bathrooms, I'm sure. I was hoping for some James Bond situations where we have some secret functions to the shower uh, switch or whatever, you know, something along these lines. It could happen, you never know. Insurgent and Typhoon, something like that, I would figure. Okay. Maybe there's a uh, special bookshelf, could be. I'm indeed very impressed, and there's a second bed, right? Probably the guest room. Book. Well, oh, we have one of those, I would figure. But I'm not exactly the greatest reader of that sword. I think the author of this board will be disappointed with all performance up to this point. Well, oh, I don't think she needs 50 credits, right? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, this is the second uh, bathroom, that's what I said. <laughs> I think that would be too easy. I suppose the housemate also needs her own room, I would think. This being the fancy of the two bedrooms, I think that's the uh, chaos then. The cat is uh, trying to scratch me, really. Wow, we better not, friend. The cabinet which is too heavy to lift, but we can't open the drawers, really. Why not? Oh, who knows? Yeah, um, did you meet some majestic uh, members in here? Presumably. <laughs> yeah, wow, well, including the housemate, I think. Mr. Huntley, wow, well, he was corrupt, of course. Hmm. Okay. It's not immediately useful, I think. I'm not quite sure who Louis is, by the way. It's our concern, of course. And this may override... Oh. Well, I don't think it's the same password. It would be way too easy. Nope, of course not. Yeah, master hacking. So that's not going to happen. But this, I don't think, controls any of these uh, secret uh, bookshelves, if there are any of those around. But it's not the office, right? Or it could be. And there is a typhoon. Okay, but I fail to see um, how this is useful to our investigation. Huh. Okay. Your password is insurgent, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> At least for this computer. Which doesn't give us any new access, by the way. Okay, no code anywhere. Yeah, and we already opened the weapons cache, of course, I think. Alright. Well, at least I figured one problem out, which is now a little too late because we did the entire thing in reverse, I would figure. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, probably. 
Ja, jetzt im Show Insurgent. Ja, wo lag der Vigo? Alright, but uh, then again. Der will nicht, ob ich du das. I think we did it, probably. Weapon Care Sharp. Well, uh, where is it though? Maybe it's in the office someplace, but I don't think so. No, new messages I see. Uh, this is not exactly a weapons cache, is it though? Well, nothing seems to have changed because, well, we already took the sword. Didn't we? Oh. Okay, um, remember that little uh, note we read here about her birthday? Well, it's 7.18. <laughs> so we can also get through here then. I guess. Did you can? Well, it's not the best of ideas, maybe, but there you go. Fantastic, I see. So the game will rewards you for using your brain, I think, at least sometimes. Okay, but still. <laughs> Well, the Deus Ex experience, but I don't think we're going to find anything else here, unfortunately, so. So I guess that we have to resolve this uh, trial problem in one way. Our way that is, you know. Well, hopefully there aren't too many nasty surprises along the way. Yeah, anything you can tell Welcome us there? To Queen's Tower. Nothing apparently. Yeah, we know, we know how. Yeah, we did more than just that friend. Yeah. Human school for decoration, obviously a good idea. I've been checking out the schematics you found. That's one hell of a sword. Yeah, you want it? Because I don't. But we did It's a generally accepted tenet of nanotechnology that nanites and traditional metals don't mix. But Versalife found a way. It all seems completely obvious to me now. Well, I know is that the uh, expert in these things. Can you spare a multi to by chance? It must be only one. I can pay you back later. No multi to do, right? <laughs> Who's locking up some chocolate back here? Who would do that? What type of monster would that be? Not looking at anyone in particular, of course. Yeah, if there was a multi tool back here, we already grabbed that, I think. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, if there's a body tool, it must be in one of those uh, submerged passageways. But I don't think we can make this happen. I think we are completely untrained swimmer, as a matter of fact. Which means we can hold our breath for like, what, 10 seconds? Maybe 15 at most. I am expecting a big shootout, frankly. Hopefully we are prepared for this. While you are here, observe the laws of the triad. We will do that and also don't take your computers in the meantime. Can anyone spare a multi tool by chance? Unfortunately, not right. I think it's right around the corner. Mm hmm, and here, but figure. Yeah, empty the desk, right? I would think. Of course, there's some at armed in here. That's surprisingly. Let us be quiet. Agent Denton from America has retrieved the software component. Please accept our gratitude. Well, thank you. It is my quick. honor. Begin. As the faces of a perfect breed are reflections of one another, as they join together to make a perfect edge, so we shall form one blade, not the male and female swords of Ganjiang. One which must avenge the other, but one weapon, precise in its purpose, though wielded by many arms. And much as the steel sharpens its edge and anneals its own surfaces, let us preserve, together, 
the form of our traditions. The only enduring work of man, that which is born again with the next generation. Forever. Forever. Again, accept our thanks, Mr. Denton. You will have to join us for drinks at the Lucky Money later tonight. In the meantime, Mr. Tong wants to see you. Thanks for the offer. I may consider that, yes? Come, join us for drinks at the Lucky Money. We must celebrate! Tubido, the fries wine. But I guess it will be a trap wine. I can smell it from right away. Get out. Enough games in the demo. Yes, I'm sorry. Last time we came, you didn't uh, speak English, so I pretended not to. I'm not sure we participated in something great here, but uh, I guess it's better than a shootout. Yeah, that would be one reason, of course. The peace will be profitable for both sides. Yeah, this is the most important thing here, of course. Go away! <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic. The next generation. The route is always. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about Maggie. But uh, we haven't seen her yet. Oh, then, Mr. Tong? What's the deal now? Peace between the triads is now official. Good. We begin to operate from a position of strength. We will start manufacturing the swords and distributing them to our allies. What next? Versalife was crawling with troops. I think they were hiding more than sword technology down there. Tell me about the labs. Paul and I concluded that Versalife does the manufacturing, while the real research takes place in North America. Plenty of scientists. Biotech, physics, nanotech, several research divisions. It would seem we still have a mutual interest. Yeah. We know we they manufacture ambrosia. If you went back and gained access to the level two labs, perhaps you would find something on the Great Death. Didn't we already do Your that? failure in New York has left me with nothing. Do you think you could find a cure? That cannot be determined until I have a schematic of the virus particle and the molecular structure of ambrosia. I'll go back, but won't they be ready for me? There's a back way at the north end of the Canal Road Tunnel, which is just east of the temple. I sent an agent in that way once. She turned up a key code to the nanotech research wing, 55655, but no data. Worth a try. By the way, Versa Life lost one of their R&D men in the Canal Road Tunnel Collapse. A guy we think was carrying nanotech assets. He did some of the basic research that went into your implants. You might take a look, if you don't mind going for a dive. Maybe I'll check it out. Mm, with our non-existent uh, skill, I don't think it would be a uh, super valid advice, sir, but it's an option if you want to take it. So swimming does seem to be essential this time of the time. Hmm, no, I guess we can at least cut the rebrief around. Instead of wasting it back here. Yeah, of course, all the dudes uh, have uh, retaken control of the facility, I would assume. Off right now, but these are completely ineffective against these augmented soldiers. We read about this and it seems to hold true regardless, you know. Either way. Jesus Christ, okay. Um. Why <laughs> do? Uh, but I guess we could butt some heads here before we head out, but still. Yeah, nothing big here, unfortunately, so. But uh, let me read about the tunnel angle once more. But no data, huh? Uh, okay. I guess it's worth checking out. I cannot believe the news. The trial are won? Yeah, sort of right. It's hard to believe. 
Please accept the gratitude of the luminous path. Please, if someone is finally uh, grateful for our achievements here, that feels nice. Yeah, we already looked for here, didn't we? We didn't see any secret passageways. As far as I can tell. Last time we came here, there was a pretty heavy police presence. And now it's just corpses for the most part. The northern end of the canal road, a tunnel, they said. But it doesn't look quite the same as before. They try to clear up the accident scene. At least a little bit, but the other corpses are still around for whatever reason. Hmm, going for a swim. Do you really think that's a good idea? Six multi-tools? <laughs> Alright. I guess the going for the front entrance is no longer a possibility. I guess uh, it could be. Okay, one lockpick. Damage threshold is 50. Well, we wasted one of our mines, of course. So that's a problem. And Vinny Pete doesn't do anything against this year. So, okay. It seems like a pretty long drop, like a leap of faith almost. How can it lead down uh, so much here? Mm. Okay, well, it's interesting. But it's maybe not the way we want to take. And I don't think it would lead uh, straight to the universal constructor, wouldn't you say? I don't think it will. But I can see why the agent never returned with any information. <laughs> okay, it really is a one-way drop. And I feel particularly ill-prepared for that. Maybe uh, a further display of gratitude would be in order by the other leader of the uh, other gang. Uh, try it, I'm sorry. Terminology is very important, I'm sure. I don't think he would offer us a multi-tool, but if he were to say we need one multi-tool, I'm sure he can cough up some of those. Yes? Uh... Is it common knowledge already? But now so it is. It was Maggie Chow who stole the sword. Exaggerated. They will not prove it. I saw it with my own eyes. There will be an explanation. The Paris know how to protect good citizens from such attacks. Great. And we just uh, <laughs> say it all right. Sure, why not? May I help you? What do you think of the triad situation? The truth will not rest. Yeah, that's likely, right? No. They are always fighting. The only tradition that stays pure. Okay, probably good judgment here. And we already read all of these newspapers, of course. Okay, I'm not really up for a drink, but then again, are we going for the front door once more? <laughs> I'm not sure that's super well advised. Because the agents will be back, and they are very nasty. And they also shoot a kill, of course. For all of them do, even the secretaries. Right. Okay, um, I don't see a multi tool though. Otherwise, I may be tempted. Although it's hard to tell with all the binoculars. Which we had to drop, unfortunately, so. Yeah, four lockpicks. Uh, I don't think we can make this happen. We're down to our last lockpick, incidentally. And the police president is kind of unnerving now. I see you in a corner, smoldering well, hostile. Hostile, Everyone but only to our enemies. enemies. Of course, we had a little bit of a shootout here last time around, didn't we? But they already cleaned up the bodies and the blood, most importantly, and also patched over the bullet holes. That's always a good idea. So are we just free to walk in? I give our current a status, I would assume so. Yeah, and what about the freezer still? I'm not sure. These things look kind of strange. Wouldn't you say? 
Whatever that may be. They say there is a German speaking man looking for you. He smashed up a yeah, bar his name is Günther Hermann. So he must be around. He's probably also in the Versal Life building right now. Now the police cannot take sides. Well, I don't think they're really very interested in that anyhow. Oh, he's not here. So where is he then? <laughs> Bodyguard? Set your business and go. Well, uh, I think it's off limits, right? Okay, he said he's waiting for us in the bar someplace, but I'm not seeing him. Maybe uh, behind the counter. Standing in for the barman. Some people do like to do that. Oh, well, surprisingly live, they gave him the boss the shooter just a couple of hours ago. Gangsters, they're all gangsters. Yeah, there's a gangster right At here. We are one triad. But don't say it in this face, you know. Okay, here you are. You have rendered us a most viable service. Haven't I? Okay. At last, we are one triad. Mm -hmm. So I came here for a drink. They were cutting him and laughing. And stabbing their sword. You're really, uh, well, <laughs> breaking the mood right now, lady. I'm sorry. Beer is 15. Wine is 120. So I have to pay for that shit as well, right? Are we still having this conversation, I see, JC? Then we I'll have a drink, a drink, please. Yeah, give me just a regular beer, please. 40. Excellent. Yeah, excellent indeed, right? Hopefully it isn't poisoned. I wouldn't be surprised. Poor Chinko. Well, cheers that I think, right? Yes. At last, we are one triad. My good friend, let me express my gratitude. A bottle oh, of yeah, wine fantastic. on me. Yum sing. We should probably scan for poison, shouldn't we? A trifle. Don't mention it. Yeah, we don't mention it, of course. Why we keep it around for later I consumption? I think it's fine. The last luminous path is dead. Well, maybe a short uh, <laughs> endeavor of yours there, lady. Better keep uh, your voice a bit lower there, double figure. Okay, so, um, going for a swim. Could be an option. There's still some items here, like an assault shotgun. We cannot uh, trade in for anything, of course. And we still short one multi tool. I guess if we were to upgrade our electronics gear, we could potentially make it down to free only. But now the personal life building has been restuffed, of course. So if you need a multi tool, we should be getting it before we head inside. 50. 75. Well, 75. Double your globe. Original one kilo bricks. Pure. 90 for both. Hey, you. Who's that? You made a big mistake, homeboy. Well, apparently it did, right? It's a rapid little drug deal here. Okay. Well, so there are nice interactions, uh, well, relatively speaking, in Hong Kong sometimes. A drug dealer with a Cobra and some beer. And we found a multi tool. We need we found a multi tool. So now we have four of them. If only we could get back to the second level fight. <laughs> okay, it's a start. And of course, we cannot squeeze for here. It's way too heavy for us. Yeah, of course. Right, okay. Well, at least there's a multi tool finally. That's at least something. Well, then we just do it, I guess. Even though most of surely looks like a one way drop to me. Okay, Geronimo. Hope for the best, because there's no letter here, of course, right? <laughs> Into the unknown we go. Deep beneath the Versa Life building. Yeah, look the part, isn't it? Okay, so where the heck are we now? And where's the Universal Constructor, most importantly? But now we can actually bypass the keypad, if you're lucky. Well, the swimming seems out of the question, so even though we do have the Rebriever still. We also found another pair of Pinocchios by the bank, as I'm wondering. I did pick it up. Comes in more handy than you would think, right? Um, someone is on patrol. I'm sure. Sounds like one of those majestic robots. But I don't find them too majestic, frankly. Data cube here, really? Oh, it's a nice start, I guess. Seven, six, eight, huh? Oh, 
Oh, someone is here, but not directly in the corridor by the looks of it, or the sounds of it. But I'm not too optimistic here, regardless. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I keep it here for people to find, huh? Yeah, so it's a bit finicky as you can tell. This would be the place to hide, but okay. <laughs> there is a device in here called a universal Ah, there we go, finally. The only two devices in the world capable of producing the nanomechanical virus called the Grey Death. Yeah, we already have that. I require you to destroy it. Use the code 525. Yeah, we already have that, even though it was not useful in our first visit here, so maybe it's meant to be impossible to access the UC. Really? And I struggled so much just for that? You have no idea how many minutes I spent off screen trying to search for this area. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, well then we have uh, our objectives back on track. Well, someone is here, but on the right uh, on the other side, I guess. Must be talking about a different um, level. Like on this grating. Look for a computer terminal somewhere in Revel 2 Lab. If you find it, I can upload the data I need to your info link. Sounds encouraging, Mr. Tong. Yeah, someone is certainly walking up here somewhere. That probably does open. Yeah, something about maintenance, but I saw the button, but I don't see a button back here, so that's not going to be very easy, I would figure. And I'm missing something once again, but it seems to be that I did it. Alright, well, then we just have to do it. Hope for the best. Well, only with the PT, yeah, that doesn't work against these sheeted people. Okay, a robot, right? There's a mirror. I don't have the slightest clue where we are right now. Not the slightest. Level 2, yes, that's where we are, or supposed to be. And they were also looking for a universal constructor still. And I think the robot uh, can see us right uh, through the mirror. Well, at least I hope so, at least. Ja, yeah, okay, one dude and one robot. Where made the bomb? Okay, I'm not quite sure what this all means here. We do have one scramble grenade, I believe. Could be decent, but then again, we don't know, because only one robot and doing this for certain, the rest alert. So, okay, uh, the elevator. Where does it lead? We do not know. I think it's how we're getting uh, for the main area then, for the main building. Yeah, where is that though? I do not remember. Oh, remember the elevator we were unable to override? But there we have it. Yeah, because the key combination was unobtainium the first time we came here. So hopefully the door doesn't close on us because, well, then we are stuck here. Yeah, okay, so that's where we are. So there are multiple levels to the a second level of this building. That's not confusing at all, right? Okay, friends, never mind the other angle, you know, because while well, we saw the robot and the mech there and the mirror, but I finally found the keypad after looking for the grating, because down here it's like impossible to see, but from up here it's pretty well illuminated. 
for whatever reason, because the lighting engine is from 2000, right? That would be the explanation. So I suppose the key was a uh, 7... Uh, 6, 8, I believe, right? Wasn't it? Did it was. Okay. Now we have to find our way out of here somehow. Without uh, bumping into too many people because, well, especially against these robots, they are a little bit defenseless. Maybe not too defenseless. Scram the grenade. Okay, they're telling us something, I see. Must be their fallback option in case the robots go haywire. Now, well, I'm not surprised by that. We could use all the assistance we can get here, right? And the metal crate, and of course, there's a camera. Oh, goody. This is an imperfect line of sight obstruction at best. Um, I guess it does work for this purpose. Okay, which does what exactly? In case you come from the other side, then I suppose. That's not very helpful. That's not very helpful, right? Okay, so the crate is here, and then what? We cannot move it around like a mobile cover piece. Um, yeah, but we have to lower the ramp here, right? Somehow. Make lots of noise in the process. Okay, uh, can we see anything? We are underneath the robot and the back, and this leads even further down into the facility. Oh, that's worrying. And the camera, of course, is a perfect line of sight on us here. Oh, okay, so it activates the lockdown from this side, then I see. And vice versa. <coughs> Okay, that's makes some sense when you think about it. There's just a time delay involved. Interesting enough, the camera cannot see us for the grill, even though it's most likely transparent. That must be a strange engine limitation. Hmm. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Uh, can we take a look see here again? So it drains 340 units per minute. And that's a normal drain, supposedly. I mean, do we know how we can proceed from back here? Maybe use one of our fancy drones by chance? Yeah, because I can see the problem already, right? Well, it's pricey to maintain. I'm not sure where we're going, so... At least it did work, right? For a change. Okay, so it's pretty fancy up here. We do have now two scammed grenades, I believe, if we want to use them. Let's lock them from the other side, maybe. Was there not a robot here somewhere? Not a robot, it was just a mirror image, I'm not sure. I'm not looking for that here, incidentally. At least not right now. No one is working. Because we killed most of them, I guess, in our previous attempt. Okay. One security terminal and the keypad, which we don't know what to do with, right? <laughs> and then again, we saved up these multi tools, right? For this precise reason, but then again, what could be in here? That looks like a teleporter, maybe, or something like that. I'm not sure, we've never seen one of those. So, there is not an NSL device. That looks like a Rebriever. Maybe one of those grills would open, I'm not sure. But these computers are completely unnecessary. We can't use them. Well, I suppose it would be too easy, right? That's never going to work. Oh, it still does, Vidi? Are you serious about this? <laughs> okay, this camera is a gone now, thankfully. I'm not quite sure what we're looking at specifically, but it says AUC Monitoring Station and the Chamber, respectively. Maybe it is Universal Construct or something. This is Security Point 1, so it must be further below you someplace. No doors attached, either how. I think we have limited uh, controls over here. Yeah, very limited. So what are we looking at? Not quite sure. It looks like a Black Mesa type of situation. <laughs> At least the machinery looks the part. Okay, interesting, but not exactly obvious. And there's the one Mac here, of course. Could also be a, a research of some type. I don't know the most of them, but they will have been revived, of course. I'm not quite sure which door just opened, but then again. 
something did open some place. Probably on the bottom floor, I would figure. Well, we have to close that first, right, before we can proceed. If I can find that stupid button here somewhere. There should be one on the opposite side, wouldn't you think? So this seems to be the way to proceed then. So overriding security would be a good idea after all. But it looks so fit. The system we're looking for is in the laboratory up ahead. Well, okay, so um, the other lockdown should stay in effect because that means we don't have to play with the robot and the dude inside here. Even though we have to scam the grenade. But, okay, what are we looking at here? Something is hostile, it's a robot, okay. These seem to be active. Just uh, in standby right now. So maybe the scam grenades don't look so unappealing after all. Well, it looks pretty formidable, wouldn't you think? It is look like uh, which type of tripwires? EMP, baby. We also saw some uh, frag lasers and mankind divided. I don't think I can see much else from back here. I don't think it's Maggie Chow herself, but there is the Ambrosia formula on this computer, I think. Hmm. Oh boy, so is there even any point of holding on to these four multitudes, which were very hard to acquire, incidentally? Or are we going to use a couple of them on the security panel? Maybe we should. This most likely controls the area down below, wouldn't you think? Alright, uh, how many skill points do we have right now? 2610, and these are also very hard to come by. And this needs to be upgraded, but it's only a 10% reduction, which may not be good enough. Yeah, we're never going to become a master here in our run, I would figure. And pistol ammo is surprisingly hard to come by now. It's mostly assault rifles and heavy weapons, which we don't really specialize in. This is probably the most useful for us here, but we can order the price here. So once again, uh, skill points are a few in between, and these skills were themselves are pretty expensive by comparison, so we have to do it uh, somehow. So, okay, since we know the Universal Constructor is back here and not behind the keypad in the other laboratory. Right, I think, but I could also be completely mistaken, in which case, well, well is there any other way to get through there? Using the scramder grenades, maybe, make the robots shoot each other by chance, something like that. That could be a thing, because I don't see any other way to progress here. We don't have a sniper rifle, you know, anything in between, that would be useful back here. <laughs> it's fine to take the robot back there with some darts. Technically, these should be armor piercing with our uh, draw weight here. Yeah, these things, but the bullet drop will be uh, absolutely outlandish. Oh, the robots are they active? Can they see me already? Or are they just in the alcove, like, parked? I guess we could theoretically sneak through here, re brief for the laser tripwire. That's an option, maybe. I'm not quite sure how reliable this would be. Okay, what is that? Uh, looks like, oh, okay, the tripwire override thingy, the power box, whatever they call it. Yeah, I think the security system will activate automatically once someone trips this wire here, indeed. Oh, the alert is raised, like, in general, in which case we have to play with at least the two robots and one of those metal men. Yeah, can we hide anywhere once we go through here? But hopefully so. <laughs> But does it work? Let's just find out, I guess. It does work. Okay, good to know. 
I suppose that's what you bought it for. I'm pretty tense up right now, incidentally. So many things to take care of in this game and keep track of at the same time. Not the last of which is of course our ammo and supply situation in general. Yeah, there's also a number of turrets in here, unsurprisingly. So good thing we didn't override the security panel upstairs, why would you think? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And these are just parked here for now. Oh no, <laughs> no look over here, please. At least the camera is offline. This storage area would be a logical place to find a stockpile of the virus. I don't know why it's so empty. Because it's already on the super freighter, you know, on route to the United States. I think it's the researcher that makes a show. Doesn't it fit your style? I have no idea what you could be right now, but uh, I see a pistol, so also the researchers are armed, then against our second incursion, so that make some sense when you think about it. Should probably eat some of our candy bars here, why shouldn't we? Yeah, okay, this uh, person is the biggest problem in the entire room because it takes concentrated firepower to take him out, and when he is completely ineffective, and I don't think we can knock him out. I think the sword will still be the best alternative here. But hardly ideal. And if she goes down, then he will be on higher light, of course, unsurprisingly. So if we make one mistake, then we have plenty of problems also behind us now. <laughs> Even though we do have the scrum grenade, which we should probably hotkey maybe, just in case. Gas grenade, huh? I don't think it works against them. Only concentrated firepower. Ja, yeah, only concentrated firepower, I think. At the moment, though, we're very unsure about uh, their patrol pattern. Yeah, where the guy is going. It takes some time to go back here, but that's all we know right now. Stop being so noisy, JC. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's going through that passageway. Yeah, if we do this at all, we should be moving uh, behind her with the baton. Hope it knocks her out first try, because it's a civilian. Oh, he does come over here then, after all, I see. <laughs> so I take it back. It looks like storage to me. Probably uh, something up for grabs of interest, but probably something that's not open for the public to take whatever they desire. Yeah, so that means you have to spend some lockpicks for that as well. It does take some time to come back here. There should be enough opportunity to knock her out and hide her someplace. Ah, though, we are completely unaware of the area here. Do we want to spend a spy drone on this, maybe? We do have it. But energy consumption is a very important in this game as well. As are many things, so... Hello there. It's a start, Mr. or Mrs. Harrison. Okay. Robot maintenance. Um, okay, but does it put them into a standby mode? Or does it override them? Like, making them haywire? I'm not sure. And yeah, as I've said, it's completely uh, locked tight here, unsurprisingly. Well, he said he will give us the information over the info link <laughs> once we start hacking. And this guy needs to be a corner here somehow. Ideally, but I'm not sure if we can make this happen. I think it would do mostly the same, right? I would suppose, because all the security computers seem to be on the same network. Throwing knives, okay. Interesting, but not exactly essential. And throwing knives don't work against these mechs anyway. Would be way too easy. Oh, is there anything else we could use? I don't think scrambler grenades will work against uh, these mechs, do they do? Unfortunately, we don't have an enemy uh, overview or anything in between where we can read up on some of these. I don't think it's a thing in this game. 
would help right now. The last time we tried, we had to use concentrated firepower. And they also have built in rocket launches, of course. So the only option I can see is using the sword here. And also drawing it first when he's too far away to here. What was that, huh? He certainly is on high alert. What? How? Did the game just call me over for no reason? Apparently did, huh? Because what was so suspicious? Oh, well, friendly fire, I see. <laughs> what happened here? I was definitely behind cover. There's no way this guy saw me. Well, at least he's dead now. But I feel cheated here regardless, right? Okay, Commando with a bio cell. Well, at least he didn't get to shoot me with his rocket launcher. Okay, robot maintenance. Okay, but it was a mistake, maybe. <laughs> That puts it back into standby mode, I'm hoping. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, don't press random buttons, friends. There's another Ambrosia canister. Of course, they're manufacturing both the cure as well as the super virus. Yeah. How did I get spotted there? I have no idea. Yeah, there's another information snippet about the super freighter. I think uh, it's a duplicate, actually. We already read that. Okay, why did then? I think she probably put a line of sight obstruction between us and the uh, keypad, maybe. This should be on the safe side. Although we can lift the heavier crates, of course. And what about the circular patrol pattern? Also worth checking out. Could be. I don't think that's going to prevent much in the way of protection, but um, that's the universal constructor. I mean, how was I visible there? Like, seriously? Then again, I'm not a reloader if I can avoid it. Infinite strength farm. Okay, so evidently it opens for some place else. I sure hope the robots will stay pulled because, well, I do have a scam that I need still as an emergency type of thing. But getting detected here is not exactly ideal, wouldn't you think? I would think so at least. Okay, the other area also worth checking out. Probably leads around here as well into this uh, lockdown. Indeed it does. No way, right? Of course. Okay then, Mr. Tong, hopefully you can work your magic now. Maybe. No, that's a terrible line of set obstruction. I don't think it provides any protection whatsoever. Even if it were at the correct position. Well, it's better than nothing. And now what? Well, hopefully you can tell us there, Mr. Tong. We don't know Harrison's credentials, do we do? This is not weapons research. Okay, the same stuff as before. But of course, there are two accounts here. But I think we read for all of them already. Interesting. Hmm. Right, well, we do have the override code. Now, just a matter of finding that console somewhere. Got it. Looks like you stumbled on more than the schematics. You better get out of there. More in a second. Okay, in a second. But we have other concerns now, don't we? Okay, um, console, where is it though? I have no idea. Let's just try to find it. I don't want to come back here empty-handed, you know, but we want to finish the job, of course, and uh, at least uh, disable this threat here. But it's only one universal constructor, so we third. The universal constructor is in this facility. Yeah, we're looking right at it, don't we? If I were an emergency override, where would I be? I don't know. 
No guardrails or anything back here because why would there be any guardrails? <laughs> I guess the letter's the next destination. Nothing looks like a keeper to me or an emergency override anywhere. Yeah, would be too easy to spot it from up here, of course. And yeah, the problem is, after our first issue in the Life building, we are completely and utterly under equipped for anything else. Yeah, especially dealing with these people. So keeping this water around was not a terrible idea, but still, I don't like it very much. Oh no, don't, no, don't, don't, no. Please don't, JC, thank you. It's too exposed up here. Okay, more canisters. There's indeed a camera. Yeah, they always infinite strength with everything. So we're not getting through here without the keycard. But I do like the look of these upgrade canisters because they are like uh, making an appearance once every three missions maybe. And these missions are very lengthy in this game. But it could be worth having, wouldn't you think? Yeah, okay, and we can also do away with the scammer grenades for the time being. These, uh, I suppose, could work against these robots because they're also, uh, well, uh, shooting plasma themselves, you know? Okay, um, I think the camera would care, but, okay. Apparently doesn't, even without this being activated or fancy interference ability. Yeah, these are not accessible, I think. Oh, that's generous there. <laughs> not that we need it right now. The charges are limited, of course. The universal constructor. Yes, it looks straight out of a black mesa here. I would put another camera on the opposite side, you know, but apparently it didn't. Someone is running around, but appear friendly. It's Maggie Shaw herself, Vidi. What are you doing here? Agent. You should never have sent me to the police station. What did you expect? That they would arrest me? Turns out you're on your way to being one of Hong Kong's most wanted yourself. I have always been one of the most wanted. I will deal with the police in the way I deal with the slanderous press. Yeah, your public How's image, that? right? Precisely the way I am going to deal with you. It's over, <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I think it's all for you, lady. But thanks for the activating the cameras there, by the way. Okay, I knew she was dirty. I should really listen to my gut feeling sometimes, shouldn't I? Okay, then. Sleep tight for now, even though I think it's probably hazardous environment, but it's not our problem. Yeah, every lady packs a 10 meter pistol in this game, apparently. Yeah, that must be the override I would figure. Probably. Mm-hmm. What is that? Well, an angry robot is waiting, presumably. Five to five. And that's what exactly? Oh, self-destruct mechanism and robots. <laughs> Goody, 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 goody. We may have made a terrible mistake, but even if we perish, we did something good for the entire planet, wouldn't you think? Okay, these things. Um, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it works. Nope, these are hardened robots, right? But they're. Well, I think we can damage them, at least if it appeared. Das uh, depends on how many we need to shoot on there. They two of them in here, right? <laughs> Through the pipes, there we did. Now, what else can we do? I don't think we have to reach for this camera grenade. But I guess it's an option if we need it. We have a couple of them for a reason, I would figure. But accuracy is unproven because we happen to have some basic training, but not exactly, well, grenade throwing to the maximum. 
Wenn wir nächstes Mal Raum place some mines up hier, aber das muss er den No. But the longer we wait, the boss is going to get here. Okay, it takes three rockets to blow up one of them. Didn't work, I see. No, no, what, what, what? <laughs> no, what? What? Give me that, give me that fucking sword. I don't want to die from this bullshit here. Oh. You cannot be serious with this, right? You just cannot be serious with this. Well, it's a hardened target and we're bashing it with a sword. No! Don't fall down the fucking letter, JC. Okay, so I should have stuck to my Vinny uh, Pizza after all, right? And the Scrambler granted absolutely nothing, unsurprisingly. So that's a stupid thing. Back here, it's slightly damaged. Can I get a lock on, maybe? <laughs> oh, really, you can't be serious with this, but at least we can heal ourselves immediately. Okay, these robots are getting slightly annoying. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, exactly what I anticipated here. So there's our first the death of this episode. Towards the tail end, but still it is a death, of course. Okay, fantastic. So this time around, you just use the goddamn rocket launcher, don't even worry about anything else. It takes three rockets, I believe, right, doesn't it? Who knew these things would be so hardened as to be completely impervious to our weapons fire and also our sword, incidentally? Sorry about that, but I cannot predict these things, of course. Yeah, they shoot like a machine gun, they take us apart in a couple of seconds, and we can't inflict any serious damage in return because our knife doesn't uh, cut like a knife robot and need, right? I should just off you, lady, should I? Then again, we're not that type of character. I think we're going to die in here anyhow, regardless. Okay, so which area are we interested in? The other one, supposedly. Environmental hazards and toxic sludge, obviously delight. So they would have that here. <laughs> okay, uh, what are they guarding? Are they, uh, I'm not quite sure, man. I don't think it shuts down these emitters, but I'm getting desperate here. Let's just use one of our multi tools then. Even though we don't have many of them. Hopefully whatever will be activated is to our liking here. Some of them fell through the floor, I see, right? Okay, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, excellent, right? The stockpile has been loaded onto a super freighter going to New York. Interesting. The previous owner of the ship was Stanton Dowd. Ever hear of the Illuminati? Yeah, we did, right? Men come divided. Assume we can get out of here, sir. We don't have an environmental suit, of course. And this is evidently also toxic. Of course, what else would it be? Are we going for a swim? We have a reprieve right now. How are we getting out of here? I'm just certain about this. I think it goes down and uh, down some more, right? That's the only area I can see. But we do have a rebreather, but we are a terrible swimmer. So I predict a swift and painful death for us. 
Most likely, but it's the only way out, right? Now that we have to hope for the best then, right? Nope, it's nowhere, of course. <laughs> oh, goody. Um, I really love a toxic a sludge and also radioactivity and electricity all at the same time. It is very nice. <laughs> Hopefully this is the way to go, because our Rebriever is now dry, and we're also in not exactly the greatest shape, right? Are we, though? Okay, it's hardly essential, but we do get some penalties from that. Hopefully this water isn't radioactive. Hopefully, it's not too far off a swim here. Oh, sure. Not quite sure what that was. Probably hostile. And there's a swimmer in here. A dead body with a scuba suit. We didn't find anything, of course, of use of what is that. Must be one of those bio weapons the Versa left was working on. So it's getting stranger and stranger here. Ja, das ist wirklich an der Worte. Gürdi. Okay, it's that. Thankfully. What was that? I have no idea. I think we saw one of them in the laboratories, right? By chance. If not misremembering entirely. I tell me there's nothing on this body. Let's strip him naked here. Get his steamer. Seriously. <laughs> okay, then. Well, then we need to continue now. Hope for the best. Uh, for this pipe, I think, right? That's what I meant. We are terrible swimmer, and unsurprisingly, the Rebriever lasts for like what 10 seconds at most. This is way too far of a swim for us. We cannot make this happen. No way. How did we not find anything? This is never going to work. Even without the speed penalty. Wow, this is the full SE bone, I suppose. Because we're going to need it here. Yeah, that's not an easy game whatsoever, would you think? But in the slightest. And now we shot a booty too if you want to come back to the rest of the Versa Life facility. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen though. It remains a mystery in this playthrough. Tracking down this doubt connection. Illuminati fingerprints all over the sterics. I'm talking about the molecule shape. 17 segments, 23 coupling points. Only Illuminati technicians use sleeve bearings with 34 fold and 46 fold symmetry. Multiples of 17 and 23? 17, 23? The birth of Adam Weishaupt? Not a coincidence. Yes, the conspiracy angle is very thick in the original DSX. And where the heck are we for that matter? I can see some radioactive sludge here, of course. And some crates, okay. 
Ah, uh, I guess, uh, I think that we try to extract ourselves some of your next episode. Hopefully it's not too far away from this compound, but we don't exactly in the greatest shape, but we have four med kits now still. Which is something. But I think it was a super long recording session, so I guess that we have to conclude our adventures in the next episode. And um, with that, I think of watching as usual, and I hope to see you next time.